What's up, friendos? So, if you have an expression or an equation with more than one operation, does it matter what operation you do first? Yes. Let's get into it. Not Magisto. <laughs> All right, my friends, so let's take a look at this expression here. Already we can see that it has one, two, three operations that it wants us to do. Now, we have to do those in the correct order. So what I want you guys to get used to is please message dear Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally's always late, so we have to message her, okay? Well, this is also our order of operations okay so our order of operations is gonna go like this the first thing is the p that's parentheses right and right here we can see our two parentheses now parentheses really always just means pay attention to me look at me check out what's inside me Okay, so first we're going to do what's inside the parentheses. The next thing that it always wants us to do is multiply. After multiplying, we are always going to be dividing. After dividing, we are always going to be adding. And then after adding, we're always going to be subtracting and that's our order of operations okay now in subsequent years you are gonna add an e in there but we're not worrying about the e for right now so please message dear Aunt Sally make sure she's to the party on time so let's take a look at this guy okay let me take out my Oasa now our first order of operations is parentheses the p our parentheses goes from here to here so, everything inside of those parentheses we have to do first. But there's two operations in there. So, now we just go back to our word operations and we see what comes first. Multiplication or addition. We'll just look at the side. Multiplication comes first. So, we're going to do the multiplication section first. The multiplication section is 8 times 4. We're going to ignore the rest of it for now. And we're going to start off in the parentheses, and we're going to do the multiplication first. So, 8 times 4, well, that's 32. So far, so good. Okay, our very next thing says to add, because remember, we're still inside the parentheses. So, now, we're going to add. Boop, boop. For our adding segment, there's nothing there except plus 2. Because we already use the 8 and the 4. But what it's really saying is whatever the answer of 8 times 4 is, you're going to add 2. Oh, so hard. So, 32 plus 2, 34. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But we can't forget what's left. So, what we have left is divided by 2. So whatever our answer was inside of those parentheses, now we're going to divide that by 2. Since it's our only operation left, that's our last step. So I'm going to have a little change of color. I'm going to go with poopo. Our last thing was 34. And we're just going to divide that by 2. Here we go. 34 divided by two. Now, you know your facts. This should be a lot easier for you. If you don't, just take it step by step. Our first step is three divided by two. How many groups of two can we take out of three? Well, just one, right? Then we're gonna subtract. How many are in that one group of two? Well, two, and we're taking them out. So now we're left with one. Now we bring down 14. When was 14 divided by 2? 7. Our answer is 17. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But I'm going to show you something, okay? Bye-bye work. Ah! So 
I'm going to show you a couple of pitfalls that some kiddos fall into, okay? I don't want you doing this, but I'm going to show you the importance of really taking the order of operations seriously. So, what if I went to my parentheses first like I was supposed to? All right, I did my parentheses first. I see four plus two. Well, that's six. I'm with with times eight. Eight times six? Well, that's 48. Yeah, 48, we're left with divided by two. Four divided by two is two. Eight divided by two is four. So our misguided answer is 24. What do you notice that they have there? They have a 24 there. Because they will anticipate that kiddos will look into the parentheses and think, oh, okay, I already did the order of operations because I went to my parentheses first. And then they just started going at it, okay? They always follow the order of operations the whole way through until you're finished. So it's always left to right. And please message dear Aunt Sally. Alrighty, so that pretty much does it. Always just remember, please message dear Aunt and Sally. Always do what's in the parentheses first. Then you're going to multiply. Then you're going to divide. Then you're going to add. Then you're going to subtract. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See you guys next time. Hey, friendos. Thanks for watching. Always remember, we can only have a brighter future with a brighter you.